Hi, welcome. Julie Kay here, helping you find your way through grief and trauma. And I help women and men of faith who have been defined by grief and uh, loss to become overcomers so that they can learn to thrive in all circumstances and finally experience their God-given destiny. Welcome today. Thank you for um, coming on this video. And I hope that this is a blessing to you today, this topic, which is another area of our lives that I've learned or my life that I hope to empower you with that I realized that I have control over, even though I have many things out of my control, as the circle of control talks about, which you can go back to my first um, video, empowering you to take back control of your life. Here we have a circle of control, which is like us, and then we have outside of that circle. And so we're going to talk today about the things um, about fear. Does fear got you? Does fear have you? Or does God got you? Or do you are you focusing on God and trusting in Him? Who, who are who are you let reigning in your life? Who has got control? Who is um, who is the one who is either giving you peace or fear? And so um, today my topic is fear. Fear got you, or are you trusting in God for protection? Um, I had this on my heart, and it came from my devotional partly um, that I'm not on the right day with. It's actually, I was doing it last year, and I'm still working on it because I don't read it every day. Um, but this one is called Strong Tower. So my passage today, my Bible passage, is two of them that I have, is Proverbs 18.10. And my New King James Version says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and are safe. Um, and, and here's two other versions that it mentions in my devotional. Uh, this is the Amplified Version. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and is safe and set on high, far above evil. I love that because that's part of what God has shown me, that specific how a strong tower, a high tower, if you look at war, is, is up high. It allows safety, a safety that's not going to come on, on the ground. Um, and, and we're kind of talking about older war, warfare where it was just guns and things like that, not bombs, because, of course, a bomb could supersede a tower. But when you think of warfare being done on the ground, a strong tower is way up high, and there's safety in that. But not only that, there's an ability to see your enemy coming. There's an ability to have um, defensive as well as offensive protection. So you can see your enemy coming and you're above it. You're above your enemy. And I love that because there's plenty of verses in Psalm that talk about that. But in 2020, um, let me tell you all just uh, a little bit of what God did because you probably know my story if you've been following it. My daughter died March 1st in 2020. March 3rd, to be exact, um, as far as the records, and of a fentanyl overdose. And then we were supposed to get custody of her kids, her four children, two girls and two boys. And we went forward to do that, and we were denied. And in Florida, and this is in Tennessee, um, only to be basically cut out of their lives, and now to have no assurance that we will get to remain in their lives, although there has been contact um, and even got to see them a month ago. And I'm not going to go into that whole story, but this is my ongoing trust um, thing. So when I talk about the inside of the circle and the outside of the circle, some examples of what's going on outside, just to name a few, is COVID, um, political realm, what are the decisions our president's making, um, and what else did I think of? The one world system that we're going to is the simple way that I put it. You know, that's that can be scary for me. And um, any of those can be scary. And then, but what's in our control? What has God given us in our control? We're going to talk about that. For me, um, then there's the personal situations, right? There's the big thing that we're kind of all going through. We all could possibly get our eyes and focus on and become afraid and, and be worried about our protection right? Physically, our protection. Um, but also, our more close to 
our lives situations, which mine is one example that mine is, is that ongoing issue of, will I get to be in my grandkids' life? Am I going to trust God with that? Or am I going to be afraid or worried or anxious about that? And it's a constant day by day, week by week, you know, situation thing. And um, I have chosen to trust in the Lord. I've chosen to keep, try to keep my eyes on him. It's always a day by day thing to get our eyes on circumstance or keep our eyes on God and trusting in him. But that's my most um, ongoing struggle for me. Okay. Tell me yours. Share yours in the comments. I would love to know, and I will pray for you. I really um, would love to know what yours is because we most likely all have one of those, um, you know, day by day family situations, or maybe it's work, whatever it is. So we have the bigger scope of things, and then we have the more dear. But those are still outside of our control. There might be things we can do, yes, in our control within it. Definitely, there's something. But my topic today is on how we can choose to trust in God or walk in fear, how we can have our eyes on the Lord, which is a way of saying that we're focusing on him, his word, his promises, his goodness, his qualities, and, and developing our relationship with him, or whether we're focused on the situations and trying to control them ourselves, fix them ourselves, and we're afraid. So that's basically where I'm going today with this one. There's lots we can go into. So I want to read you a little bit of this devotional because it says it Pretty well and then I'm gonna um, kind of share things in between but it says sometimes it can be a cold world out there that is insensitive to our need for safety a lot of things in this life can threaten our safety COVID vaccine or not vaccine etc etc we have all found ourselves in situations where our emotions feel battered or bruised people have the capacity to hurt us but God never will so there's our physical safety our health safety that has been a big issue in the last couple of years. But there's our emotional, our heart, our heart. And this is the way we sign heart, one way to sign heart, or you can make a heart. But our heart safety, our soul, our mind, will, and emotions. You know, if we're born again Christians, we're born again believers, our spirit is sealed and protected. Nothing can t change that or, or enter into that. It's sealed. But our soul is constantly in a battle between good and evil and right and wrong and God or not God, et cetera, faith versus fear, et cetera. So um, I like this that it says, he will always gladly welcome you into his strong arms. You can trust that God is always a safe place for you. Your fight or flight instincts don't have to kick in when you are in God's presence. I like that. Very true. Our fight or flight instincts do not have to kick in when we are in God's presence. And part of how I believe he protects us in our soul is with his peace. And, you know, it's, it's a spiritual protection. The blood of Jesus protects us, the angels, um, and so on. But I, I believe his peace is part of our protection. So he can be your strong tower, a place of safety. Ask Jesus to show you that he is a safe place for you today. He cares about you and you can trust in him with everything. He tenderly watches over you and gives you his peace. So I wanted to read that right from the devotional too, um, because I fully agree with that as, as a coach and as a believer since I've been 17 and um, with the trials that I've been through, walking through that. I, that, was, that was like, I'm all about trusting in him. And I love to teach people and share messages about that because I'm a Bible teacher and I'm an ordained minister. But I, um, my biggest test was, oh, Lord, you're going to have me having to trust you for the rest of my life um, with my grandkids' situation. That's tough. But he has given me peace, y'all. He has given me supernatural peace. Yes, I lose it at times when I get my eyes on the circumstances or I'm tired or not feeling good. But, you know, I can get my eyes right back on him and my peace comes right back. So it's a wonderful thing. The other passage I want to read to you is Psalms 34 many verses in the Bible about not being afraid, but I'm just hitting on, um, I love Psalm 34. And this is verses four or five and 10. So verse four says, I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears. Verse five, they looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. I love that. And I'm going to teach you, show you the sign. You can see me doing it right now a little bit. And kind of how to sign to tell ourselves to get our eyes on the Lord. Or if you're sharing it in a song and I'm encouraging you to get your eyes on the Lord and trust in him. So 
if, if we look to him, it says they look to him and their, their eyes were radiant, their faces were not ashamed. That's the peace of God. That's the joy, I believe, also that he can give us when we, you know, even when we're facing something obviously fearful, but we're trusting and putting our eyes on him. And verse 10 says, the young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. And in, in that any good thing is any is, is protection. And it also includes that, I believe. So um, just so you know, if you see my eyes not looking at you, I'm doing this on my phone because my phone can adjust the lighting and so forth. But it's sometimes hard for me to know where my eyes should go on here. So I am really trying to talk to you and into the camera here. Um, so those are my two passages, many more that I could talk about. But I just really want to encourage you to realize that it's in your control where you put your focus, where you put your eyes on, who you trust in. Do you trust in yourself? Do you trust in the Lord? Do you trust in man? Do you trust in doctors before you trust in the Lord? Um, I think it's said on the other side of this, but I totally agree with it. The first thing we need to do is run to God in all areas of, of seeking protection, health, well-being. We need to look to God first because he is the giver of life. He gave us life physically. He gave us life eternally if we were born again Christians. And if you don't know what that means, please let me know. I'll be glad to talk to you. Um, I do free consults, one hour consults. I'm going to put the link. Hopefully I'll remember to put it in this video. You can also go to my new website, juliekettles.com. J-U-L-I-E-K-E-T-T-L-E-S.com. And um, I'm having my IT guy uh, working on doing my different services on there at this moment. So, um, but you can check it out and get my freebie right now on there and my contact information. So please set up a free consult with me. We can talk about the areas you struggle with, with your fear. And I would love to help you to overcome that. Not because I'm perfect or have arrived, but because I do believe I have tools and ways to help you to do that. And so with that said, it, you know, you can know that it's not just like you have to be afraid and overcome with fear on a certain situation, with whether it's worldwide or whether it's more closer to home. And I'm doing this because let's say this is the circle of control again, and this is you, you're inside the circle. All that's within your control is in there. The bigger, you know, outside of the circle is the world. And then closer into that inner circle would be our own personal work, family, relationship situations that we can be afraid of, which I shared mine about my grandkids. So um, I always bring up a song and I am so blessed um, when I prayed today about what song to go with this. I thought of Carrie Job's song called No Fear. Oh my word, it's so peaceful. It's so blessed. It's so, I just felt the presence of God coming in my home as I was playing it. And I kept repeating it as I was getting ready to do this video because it's just beautiful. And um, she wrote it, I guess, about a year ago. So it was after COVID. Uh, I did a whole workshop on fear, by the way. And I also have a presentation to Francesca Battistelli breakup song. Maybe I'll include that in the link too. But check it out um, if you look on my channel and put in Julie Kettle's um, breakup song. Um, if I don't have it there, you should be able to find it. But it's a little more hyped up and, and dramatic compared to Carrie Job's song, No Fear. Uh, but that's coming to me to share that with you too. And I did a presentation and a whole workshop on this as well. So if you or your church would like that brought to your church, let me know. So here's the song. I'm going to sign, um, teach you three so new signs because my previous videos all teach you at least two signs. Um, usually it's one or two signs. So I taught the sign for Jesus, which I'm going to show you today anyway. But go back and watch those and you'll see other signs and they hopefully they're all building on each other. So I'm going to teach you um, a line in her chorus in the song, which is turn your eyes upon Jesus right here, right now, no fear. Um, so let me um, adjust my seat here again. So the way you uh, sign it, put your both your hands up because this is a two hand sign right now. It's your pointer and your middle finger, which looks like the V for victory. It's a V in sign language, but we're doing this as representing eyes. 
pretend like they're eyes, like this would be my two eyes and this would be my two eyes, but we're using both hands. And for, for in sign language, you do C like this. So this is C and this is look. So we're using our look fingers, but we're going to direct it up to God. That's how you, one way to sign to get your eyes on Jesus, or I am turning my eyes on Jesus. So it's directional. If it was, uh, I'm turning my focus on something to my left, I would go like that, or my right, maybe over here, you know, so it's a directional sign. So we're going to turn our eyes to Jesus. All right, so and the way we do it is turn our eyes upon Jesus, is the way the song says. And she says it very beautifully. I'm going to just sing it in my own voice. I'm not a singer. I'm a signer. But I'm going to sing it because if I play the song, which I would love to do, it makes it all my videos copyrighted. And you're allowed to have some videos copyrighted on YouTube, um, but not all of them. Uh, you know. So anyway, here we go. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Okay, now the next one is no fear. Now it's not no as in no or yes or no. It's in, as in no fear, none, none. So I teach you the sign none. So you just make O's with your hands like this, both hands. Again, you're using both hands on this one and you use both hands on fear. So this, all three of these signs use both hands and you just kind of bob it. So if it was in a song, you can kind of go with the music with it. No fear, no, none really what it means and then fear is taking both hands and a fist and putting one on top of the other I usually do my non-dominant dominant hand because I'm right-handed I put my right hand on the bottom and then you throw them out opposite of each other so this being on my phone you can't see my chest area real good but you throw them in front of your chest okay opposite of each other fear and, you know, if you want to, sometimes I quiver it, you know, if I'm being dramatic in a song, you can, you know, kind of shake it. But that's fear. Okay? So we're going to do, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus three times. And then no fear. Oh, it also says right here, right now, no fear. And I wasn't planning on teaching these, but here is very easy. Right here, right now, no fear. So... For sake of time, I'm not. I'm just going to do this. So this is the way she does it in her song. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Turn your eyes upon Jesus. Right here, right now, no fear. Right here, right now, no fear. And there does not have to be any fear in God when we're our eyes on him, we're trusting in him, we're trusting in his word, and his promises, and we know who we are in Christ. But most importantly, um, that we know we're loved unconditionally by him, unconditionally, y'all. His love is, uh, it says in Ephesians, you know, it's a prayer that Paul prayed, excuse me, a prayer that Paul prayed. For the believers that you would know how wide and long and high and deep the love of God is. So I'm not going to go on too much longer with that. But if there's another verse also that says perfect love casts out all fear. And that's in 1 John. I don't remember what chapter and verse, but it's in 1 John. You can look it up. Um, but perfect love casts out all fear. And that's the perfect love that we feel, that we receive when we get saved and we give our life to Christ. But then also that revelation of learning and understanding his love over time. That's what casts out fear. So that is so important. That could be a whole nother video. Okay, so um, that is the song, No Fear, by Carrie Job. And the passage was Proverbs 18.10 and Psalms 34. Uh, the whole Psalm in 34, it talks about the fear of the Lord, you know, opposite of the bad fear, the fear of the Lord. So, you know, it's just a beautiful Psalm. So that's what I wanted to share with you today. And again, if you want to set up a free consult with me, it's on my website, juliekettles.com. Please subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you can get my uh, weekly uploads. I am trying now to do every Friday uh, a teaching or a passage or a message like this. Or you may get one of my presentations because I did do a sunrise service. So that's what, go back and see my one from last week. But also doing shorts. I'm trying to add in like somewhere in the midweek 
between Friday, uh, a short video. So um, whether it's me signing or maybe my kitty cat, or I had one on about a fire that we saw in um, the woods when we were taking a walk at Dames Park. So that's all. God bless you guys. Signing off. Julie Kay, helping you find your way.